Welcome, my name is Matthew Quickenden. I have over 20 years industry experience and have recently been working with cloud and hybrid cloud technologies with specific focus on Azure and Azure Stack. Azure is based on a consumption and usage model. As administrators, it is important to monitor utilization and understand where and how the resources we have deployed are being used and how much they're costing us. To help facilitate this, we can use tools built into Azure. Diagnostic logging, which is captured at a resource level and allows us to view detailed logs. Metric counters, help us look at performance and costs related to metrics. Azure Advisor is built into Azure at many layers and leverages Azure's power to analyze your usage and provide recommendations to help reduce excessive spend. We can set up alerts on logs or metrics to trigger a variety of actions via action groups. Log analytics can be leveraged to perform custom queries on log data. Azure Cost Management provides a view into resource cost allocation. And finally, Cloudian can be used to schedule and generate reports on usage and cost data. Azure provides different logging options around resources. We are going to be taking a look at diagnostic options available to tenants. The Azure Monitor helps facilitate logging and collection of these logs. There are three types of logs we need to be aware of. Activity logs, diagnostic logs, and application logs, or guest OS logs. Let's take a look at where these logs exist within an Azure subscription in relation to the resources they are monitoring. Here we have a non-compute resource, which is tightly integrated and delivered through Azure providers. For example, a network security group. Next to this, we have a compute resource. This is a virtual machine with a guest OS like Windows or Linux and has an application installed like IIS or Apache. Activity logs provide a record of operations from a subscription level executed against the resource. For example, when administrative tasks are performed on the resource like creating a resource or updating the properties of an existing resource, this will generate an event in the activity log. Diagnostic logs are collected within a subscription at an Azure resource level for services like VPN gateways or network security groups. Not all Azure services have an option for diagnostic logging and the level of detail you can capture varies. You can view a full list of resources that support diagnostic logging from the Microsoft Azure website. Application logs are logs generated by applications or services within a guest OS. These logs are collected from within the operating system through an agent. Application logs can be collected from core services like Windows event logs or from applications like IIS. Diagnostic logging can be enabled in a couple of ways, using the Azure portal, PowerShell, Azure CLI, or the REST API via Azure Resource Manager. When enabling diagnostic logging, you can choose where you want to export your logs to. You can export them to Log Analytics, to an Event Hub, or directly to a storage account. The Azure portal allows us to easily browse through resources to enable diagnostic logging. Select the resource in question under the heading Monitoring, and you should see a heading Diagnostic Settings. This will open a blade that contains diagnostic logging options for the type of resource you're currently looking at. If it's not already enabled, you will see an option to turn on Diagnostics to enable diagnostic collection. This will give you a choice of export locations we looked at earlier and the options related to them. For instance, when you select storage account, you get a choice of which storage account and retention settings. You will also notice different log events to capture specific to the resource you are working on. One of the first steps to take if you're experiencing an issue is to select the resource and go to the Diagnose and Solve Problems blade. This shows any general issues related to this resource's health. With regards to virtual machines on the Diagnostic Settings blade, you have an option to enable guest level monitoring. Once enabled, you have more capability to collect logs from within the system without having to set up anything inside the system yourself. We will investigate more about these options in the demonstration. Log Analytics, formerly known as Operations Management Suite or OMS, is a log search and analytics tool. It allows you to collect logs from various different sources and correlate the data. You can write queries and create charts and graphs to help 
gain operational insight into your environment, can create alerts based on metric thresholds or activity log events, and consume pre-built management solutions, which includes queries and graphs. We can also send our diagnostic data to an event hub, which is a big data streaming platform. It can receive, process, and transform thousands of events per second. Data can be stored or displayed as needed. Anomaly detection, live dashboards, and application logging are among some of the ways we can utilize event hubs. Finally, we can send logs in their raw format to a storage account. It is important to understand the naming convention used to store it. Logs can be broken down by subscription, resource, group, provider, and finally date time with a JSON file called pt1h.json. An example of the file structure in the blob would look like this. Let's get started.